do that. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna have to like do another switch because of the USB situation. But let's do some uh, some Amiga news. Amiga news with Amiga Bay. All right, I'm here, awesome. Like I said, I have to reconnect my MacBook. Hold on a second here. MacBook Pro, settings. There we go, love it. Check this out, folks. Breaking news from Facebook. Proton Fig, happy belated summer solstice. Ooh, I'm gonna check it out, Proton Fig. Thank you. Yo, Chucky Gang, what is going on? You're on a three week vacation? Indie Retro News, you're coming up, baby. You're coming up. Oh yeah, the stream, Uji Flip, the stream is working now, baby. But check it out, this is breaking news. I saw this right before the stream. Now, you all know, let's see, I might have to do this too. Yeah, okay, we're good there. Oh, Amiga Cam, I gotta fix Amiga Cam, hold on. It takes a, it takes a little time to get everything uh, set up again. So I go, okay, this is 930E, so I go to uh, FaceTime, and then I go back to my 930E. FaceTime, and back to my 930E. USB is such a weird beast. So I was on Facebook getting ready for the stream, and what pops up in my feed, you all know I love the A500 Mini, and I had a, a great stream with Paul Vince, creator of the Amiga Game Selector, and what pops up in my stream, yo, Greg of Florida, freaking Voxel Trots, Corbo, the real Tony Rocks, you guys need to see this. There's, they now have a Westchester Amiga user group, Amiga Games Selector theme. How freaking cool is this? Let's go, let's go check it out. Check it out, folks. Woo! Westchester Amiga user group theme on Amiga Game Selector. How rad is that? Dream Warrior with the sub. Thank you, Dream Warrior. I really appreciate it. Janiac. Oh, I'm good. Everyone is Janiac. Everyone's good. My wife is feeling a little bit better now after the car accident, so that's good. And yo, Sir Garbage Truck, what's going on, dude? Great to see you. So, yo, Voxel, there you are. I see you in the shot, Voxel Trots. Ash said hi. What is going on, Ash? Thank you so much for the sub. Ash said hi. I appreciate you so much, Ash. Thank you, Ash. Because I want to shout out Ash said hi, DJ Hoffman. We got a lot of great streamers in the chat. We got Ash, we got DJ Hoffman. Ash does Amiga stuff on Saturdays and amazing stuff all throughout the week. We got uh, DJ Hoffman doing amazing Amiga stuff and DJ streams during the week as well. Freaking cracking, cracking the codes, the hop. I'm, now I'm finally getting back on my feet. I'm finally getting back on my feet because uh, I had some technical issues at the beginning of the stream and now, now I'm getting in there. So anyway, big shout out to Paul Vince. But check this out folks, Westchester Amiga user group is not the only group that's got a theme. He's got the Amiga Nor North Thames, or Thames. That's a really, really cool theme. I love that, the 1950 style. We got Westchester Amiga user group in the house. There's Corvo, I see you there Corvo. And there's Voxel Trots right there, I see you. There's me. There's the real Tony Rocks right there. Oh man, we, it's a good group right there. It's a good group. The Norwich Amiga user group has got a theme. That's freaking Nag Graham. Yorkshire Amiga user group. The, it's not Yorkshire, it's the Yorkshire Amiga user group. They got a theme. Kickstart Amiga user group. Not to be confused with Kickstart 2, like I got confused before. I saw a Kickstart. Kickstart had a meeting this week, and I was like, oh, Kickstart 2 is this weekend? I thought it was next weekend. It's next weekend, it's all good. Uh, what else we got? Oh, dude, how awesome is that? How freaking awesome is that? So a big shout out to Paul Vince. If you're interested in the Amiga Game Selector, um, definitely uh, check it out. I'll drop a link to this post in the chat for you all, and you can like, join the Facebook group. Paul Vince rules. Paste. Corvo, uh, do you see yourself there, Corvo? You see yourself, right? That's, where is it? There you are, right there, Corvo. There you are, right there. You're on the Amiga Game Selector. I love it, dude. Fishbot. Whew. I'm settling in now that I got the beer. Settling in. Ash said high rules. Ash rules. Um, that was all good. Haha, <laughs> that's hilarious, Greg. Totally. Greg, we gotta get you in the picture this year. So, yeah, first piece of Amiga news. We now have user group themes for the Amiga Game Selector, including Westchester Amiga user group. How awesome is that? I'm gonna do a little pan here, folks. There we go. Uh, next up, boom. Next up, okay, now you all know, it wouldn't be, so I got the, this heads up. I got this heads up uh, from the creator himself. And also, of course, it's an article on Indie Retro News. You know, because it wouldn't be an Amiga Bell News section without a trip over to Indie Retro News. 
Due to the building of a remaster, development of a new Amiga AGA and OCS version by Westwood's Robert Kuhn. So this is freaking cool. Robert reached out to me as well, and of course Indie Retro News has got the finger on the pulse, baby. So Robert is doing a remaster of Dune 2, and he's on like the original dev team. So this is like as authentic of a remake remaster as you're gonna get. Fishbot, this is totally legit. It's totally freaking legit. I'm sure many of you remember Dune 2, one of the greatest real-time strategy games of our time, an all-time classic developed by one of the greatest developers, Westwood, which was released for the Amiga MS-DOS in a later release on the Sega Mega Drive in 1993, the year I graduated high school. Well, if you do remember it, more specifically the Amiga version, at some point, Robert Kuhn, who was part of the original Dune 2 team at Westwood, will be releasing a new Amiga AGA and OCS remaster, a new version of the game which is sure to excite many in the Amiga community. Here's the latest from the Patreon page about this Amiga AGA OCS remaster. Dune 2 on the Amiga was a really popular game. Most gaming magazines gave it rave reviews and it can be consistently found on best Amiga games ever type lists. Oh, baby. <laughs> Best ever. Uh, despite all those accolades, the game on the Amiga wasn't as good as it could have been. The game shipped on five discs and suffered from extensive disc swapping. Oh man, I remember the disc swapping. Getting a second drive for your Amiga is just like, is so important. If it was two drives, there was a lot of swapping with Dune 2. Most of the great introduction sequence from the DOS version was chopped down quite a bit. The soundtrack has limited presence and there was no AGA specific version. Even the Amiga gameplay was slightly diminished due to limited resources available to the game. My goal is to remake Dune 2 for the Amiga from scratch the way it was meant to be released and to do right to all those wrongs. And the, but wait, I'll end to, and to add more. And there was also no native PAL support for example. So if you love Dune 2 and would love to play a remastered version on your Amiga, then make sure to check out the latest developments on the Patreon page linked here. Boom! This is freaking awesome. Woo! Bob controls the spice, you know it, Amiga love. Except, time to play the Amiga version, baby. Whoever controls beer controls the universe, exactly, Fred Seda. Grinder Cowboy, hopefully they're updating the controls too. Uh, maybe. Let's see uh, what the video uh, posted here is. Let's see what this video is. Play it. Is this a little? Oh, this is a little gameplay. I got it. This is like a little, a little gameplay of it. Let's. I'm gonna skip ahead here. Boom. A little gameplay. Blitter object. Oh, it's just a full intro. Got it. Got it. Just a full intro. Which we should watch it, right? Blitter object. That's you, right? Isn't that you? We have volume. Full volume. The plant Arrakis, known as Dune. Land of Sand. There's no audio yet. Got it. Home of the Spice Melange. Blitter Object is the author of this remake. Exactly, Fred Seda. Ooh, a nice little fade there. I dig it. I, I'm not, I don't have the original at handy to, uh, to play, but oh, wow. Oh, it looks better. Yes, it definitely looks better. Could we play Dune 2 nah, not too long ago? That looks dope. We need the Spice Girls Easter egg. Excellent. <laughs> Blitter Object. Uh, Andy started giving me music tracks, and they are awesome. Oh, that is awesome, Blitter Object. That is so freaking cool. That, this looks insane, right, Fishbot? We can go full screen. Yep, yeah, this deserves full screen. It looks amazing. So this is proper uh, a proper AGA, right? Yeah, Sap says it looks like the VGA version. Yeah, Indie Retro News, this is dope. It looks so good. Uh, how, what a great idea. What a great idea. Full AGA, that's awesome, Blitter Object. It's looking sweet, dude. Scottish, you thought you owned this game, but you don't? Oh, dude, look at that. Look, that's remastered. That looks dope. I love the dithering in the sky, Blitter Object. That dithering looks really, really cool. Instead of like the hard copper lines, although there's, I do have a soft spot in there. Yo, um, 
I'm who's I'm who's Immer Gucken. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. We are looking at a remastered version of Dune 2 that is coming soon to the Commodore Amiga. And the remaster is being done by Blitter Object, who's in the chat. And he was on the original dev team for this game. So this is an authentic remaster. Uh, look at oh, the smoke, right? Look at that smoke. That's amazing. The smoke coming out of the, oh, it's so good. It's so good. The Harkonnen, oh man. Oh, they're gonna have to redo the cover of uh, Amiga Germany now with the in improved graphics. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, very cool, nice explosions there. It looks, yo, know, Blitter Object, it looks so good. I know Chris Doe loves this game. Chris Doe is a Dune 2 master. So I know Chris Doe's gonna be lining up for this one. That is, that is freaking cool. The battle for Dune begins. Oh, that's so cool, man. Yo, Blitter Object, amazing work. Let's, boom, so here is the, uh, the link to the Indie Retro News article, copy. Paste. And then also, let's link over to his Patreon. Like, it's literally just, I think it's just like a dollar a month. Dune 2, the building of a remaster. Dune 2 on the Amiga was a really popular game. Oh yeah, boom, we read that already, boom. My goal is to document the creation of a remake of Dune 2 for the Amiga from scratch, the way it was meant to be released, and to right all the wrongs, and add more. I was on the original Dune 2 Amiga team at Westwood, even though I did the bulk of Dune 2 conversion, leaving Westwood before it was released was something I still regret, so I want to give the Amiga community the Dune 2 experience they deserve. Yo, that is freaking awesome. Yet, Sir Garbage Truck, time to get good at Dune 2. This is freaking awesome. There he is, look at him. First one listed in the manual, Robert Kuhn. Robert was at Apple for five and a half years and he worked on a number of other games for other platforms. He worked on Dune 2, Gunship 2000, The Legend of uh, Kirandia, uh, UFO Enemy Unknown, Alchemy, Atomica, House MD, Jam that bowling, jam that mini golf, jam that sports, MTX motor tracks, muscle car mayhem, NBC figure skating, that's Anthony's favorite game, <laughs> Mr. NBC, Polyhedral XL, Puzzle Jeep, Shrek 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, Tony Hawk's my boy, you know, you know that, Wizardry, a bunch of games on iOS, iPod, Nintendo DS, Impossible Mission, Nintendo Game Boy Advance, oh my god, whoa. He's got an interactive developer journal. This is crazy. If you enjoyed playing Dune 2 back in the day or liked the Diary of the Game series of articles that some magazines had or just want to show your support for the project, there's a Freeman tier. It's like a buck a month. If you're interested in the book version, there's a Trooper tier. If you want to play the game as it's developed, there's the Sarduker tier. So cool. So cool. Yo, Robert, that is amazing. Here's a link to the Patreon. If you're stoked about Dune 2 and you want to play the alphas and the betas along the way, here is the link. Where's my chat? There it is. Boom. Link to the Patreon. Hey, hey, Tony Hawk's one of your childhood heroes. You know Tony Hawk's my boy. I think my uh, yeah, my music was probably a little hot there. I'm still getting everything back. You're already a patron, nice Fred Zeta. Yo, brother object, thanks dude. That this is so cool. What a cool project. It would be so cool if you get Robert on as a, a guest. Yo, Robert, do you wanna come on as a guest? Let's do it. Amiga Love redeemed an on-screen celebration. Yo, Amiga Love, you rule. If you want to use Amiga EXE files, what do I do? Go into shell and then execute, baby. Go into shell and execute. Pick a king, great to see you. Um, yeah, hey, Blitter Object, let me know. Hit me up offline if you want to if you want to come on the stream. All right, next up in the, the Amiga news section. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this it kind of brought kind of brought a little tear to my eye. It really did. Skinny Marley, a new Amiga game based on the mechanics of the of the of the famous Soko Band. Let's go check it out. I was I forgot how I saw this. I think I saw this on Twitter and then freaking. Indie Retro News picks it up because Indie Retro News has got the finger, the finger on the pulse, baby.
Skinny Marley, a new movie game based on the mechanics of the famous uh, Soko band. With a double heads up, a double dip from our two good friends, Saberman and Amiga Bill. We've been told if you like the classic 1980s game of Soko Band, then Toolsy has got you covered with a new Commodore Amiga game of Skinny Marley, a game which is not only based on the mechanics of the famous game, but according to the developer, it's a tribute to his little adventurous dog who passed away in 2021 due to a medical era. I'm telling you, man, I, I, I was like, this game is gonna make me cry. To coincide with this news, here's the latest footage of the game viewable below in Saberman's video. So it's really cool. His dog, the author's dog, he used to like, before they went to bed, he used to like organize things in the room. So it's, it's a perfect, the Soko Band is just like a, a perfect platform for this. It's really, really cool. The game is based on the mechanics of the famous Soko Band, but with entirely new levels. The aesthetics are consistent with the game's proposal and very interesting dynamics. You can spend a good time having fun and racking your brains to pass through all the levels using the arrow keys. You can move Marley through the stages, helping him have a good night's sleep after hunting the objects he likes most around the house. We're gonna play the game. We're gonna play the game in a second. We love our doggos, exactly, in the Retro News. Can you imagine, like 2021, that's like almost peak COVID. You know, everyone is like, everyone needs a, a good companion. Everyone's at home hanging out. And uh, the poor guy, like the little dog, was having a, uh, a medical procedure that went awry. That's just, that's just horrible. It's just horrible. I love little doggy. It's so cute. We're gonna play the game. I got it booted up and ready to go. We're gonna play the game. It's gonna be awesome. Saberman, thanks for the great video. And uh, I'll give you a link. There's also a link to the itch.io here. Here's, uh, here's a link to the Indie Retro News article. Copy. Uh, where's my chat? There we go. Copy, paste. Cheers, Indie Retro News. You rule. And then let's go back here, and we're gonna go to the source, which is his itch.io. And let's see, yeah. So check it out. So this, I'm just gonna read the first paragraph because this is like really, really moving. The game Skinny Marley is created and inspired by a little dog I had, an old friend who passed away in 2021 due to a medical error. That's just that's awful. Since then, I miss him and his adventures a lot. One of the things he liked to do before sleeping was to hunt objects around the house, especially those with my sense, to take to his little house so he could sleep feeling my presence all night long. This game is a tribute to my beloved and great friend Marley, affectionately called Skinny. Dude, I'm telling you this game's gonna make me cry. I'm telling you this game's gonna make me cry. I, it's only a dollar. Like, y'all need to go buy this game and, and show him some love. Show, show uh, Marley some love in honor of Marley. Pets are the best. My wife loves our cats, baby. <laughs> Push comes to shove, and I'm telling you, I, I hope I hope she never has to make the decision between me and the cats, because I know it's gonna win. <laughs> Pull the Alex Bow is back. Dogs are unconditional love, exactly, Fishbot, exactly. Here's a link to the itch.io for Skinny Marley. I highly encourage you all just to go throw him a buck and show Marley some love. There was a CPC game dedicated to a lost pup as well. Oh, never, never, I'm telling you that that game's gonna make me cry. That game's gonna make me cry. We're gonna play it in a little while. Indie Retro News says our family dog was struggling. They said it was arthritis. We took the dog to the vets. I got a call. Sorry, we had to put the dog down. It was riddled with cancer. We never got to say goodbye. I cry when I think about it. Yo, Indie Retro News, that's 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 horrible, dude. I am so sorry. That's um, man, I can't I can't even imagine. Like every time. My cats are getting up there in age now, and every time they get sick, and one of my cats is like sick right now, like I, I'm not, I, I get really nervous. I, I get really nervous, really nervous because I'm so attached to the cats, and so is my wife. They're they're literally part of our family. That's that's horrible. Uh, never you with my cats are the best. My my little guy, he follows uh, my wife around like room to room. He's our he's a little shadow. My cats are rad. My cats are rad. Pagemaker64 with the resub, Commodore 63, that's for Commodore 63 months. Pagemaker, thank you for your incredible support, that's amazing. And I do want to do that stream with you. Can, we got amazing streamers in the in the stream today. We got Pagemaker64, we got DJ Hoffman, we got Ash Said Hi. We're just missing Nagram. Your pet rock going strong, Polly Oxbow, nice. Yeah, Indie Retro News, I, I understand, man, I, I understand. 
I understand your feelings there. I totally get it. It's hard to find a good one. Some some of them are just really bad and corrupt. Some of them, some of them are good. You, it's just hard to find the good ones, you know? I totally hear you, man. Great to see you, Hayes. Thank you for the resub, man. I really, really appreciate it. Prince Phase 101, what is going on? Oh, Miss Wolverine DK, I'm really, really sorry. It's hard. It's really, really hard. So there you go, Skinny Marley. Oh, I okay, guess so I'll check it out. Indie Retro News, thank you for all the awesome news throughout the week. You rock, brother. You rock. You know who else rocks? Jonah from Amiga Addict Magazine. So check it out. This is a last call for the Simulant keyboards. Now, if you're wondering what the Simulant keyboard is, it's a modern PC keyboard with Amiga flavor. You can like taste the Amiga flavor on the tip of your tongue. It's got a bowling ball key. It's got A keys for Amiga. I don't, on mine, I don't actually have the help key, but he did produce help keys. I missed out on that, so I'm, I'm super, super bummed. But this is your last call. They're about to sell out. Thanks to everyone who supported this project over the last three years. Your support has helped us manufacture new Amiga branded keyboards. It's been a long ride, but we made it. All orders are shipped and up to date. Now is the last call for those wanting any of the limited stock remaining. Uh, once all these are gone, they're gone for good. So grab yours now. Here is where you can buy it. Now, let me tell you, I I have one. Jonas, first of all, Jonas is the man. I, I, this makes me so happy because I remember when Jonas started this project, like it was a dream of his to have this keyboard and it, it, it didn't work out at first. And then he went, so what does he do? Okay, I'll put the keyboards on hold. And instead, I'm just gonna go start like one of the greatest Amiga magazines ever made. So he started Amiga Addict Magazine. Once Amiga Ad Ma Addict Magazine started to get on track, he circled back. He circled back and he made, he made this dream happen. And look, I got one right here. This thing is an absolute beast. I, I highly recommend it. I know, I know the keyboard layout is not like exactly like the old school Amiga and it's missing the help key. I know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I use this with my mister. I use it with my mister and my Raspberry Pi. Dude, look at like, look at this combo. Look at this combo. Like this is a sweet setup. And another thing that's really important, I also use this keyboard with my Raspberry Pi and when you're using AmiBerry, like you want that F12 key. Like you, believe me, when you're using AmiBerry, you want the F12 key. Trust me, you want the F12 key. So, you know, I know it's not totally authentic exactly like the Amiga, fine. You know what it is? It's built like an absolute tank. It weighs a ton. It's freaking bomb proof. Like this, I, I love this keyboard. I think it's cool. And okay, sure, it's not exactly like an Amiga keyboard, but it's got serious Amiga vibes. And also there's an adapter that you can get as well. So you can use it with your Amiga 4000 or 2000, your big box Amiga. It's really, it's a sweet keyboard. And oh man, and it's super solid. I'm telling you, I, I wish I wish you could touch it. <laughs> I wish you could touch it. I wish you could touch my simulant and my monster Woody. I wish you could. Oh, and Voxel Trot says it's also his main Mr. Keyboard. It's so good. Exactly. Look, it's perfect, Voxel. It's good. Yo, Greg said the new 8 bit keyboards are super nice too. Greg, is that the one that looks like a Commodore 64? I because if it is, I need to get one of those too. So, boom. Yo, DJ Hoffman, by the way, I I'm dying to get seek annoyed. I, it, I, I got the shipping notification weeks ago. Oh, Greg, I need to get one of those keyboards too. I, I do. I need to get one of those keyboards, Greg. But this one, this is your last chance to get a simulant one. Like I said, it's perfect for the mister. And it also, I use it with the, I don't, you'll see why I don't use it with my Raspberry Pi as much uh, in a little while when we fire off Ami Kit. Ami Kit, I don't know if you're still here or not, but we'll, we are gonna check out your Ami Kit XE. I've had a little bit of a rocky road installing it, but we'll uh, we'll get it working. It looks it looks dope. It looks really really cool. Thank you, Voxel Trots, for the, the link. So similar keyboard, and look, it comes in a super cool package too. I mean, it's got it's got a red. Oh, I wasn't full screen. Sorry, silly Billy. I meant to. It's got a cool box too. It's, it's boxed really really well. Well well made. And like I said, he made a replacement help key, and I missed it. I missed it. I gotta talk to Jonas, see, I, see if he's gonna do another run on the help key because uh, this keyboard, this keyboard's dope. Uh, get you a better shot of it here. See, I'll get you a better shot. This, this is my setup here. It's super sweet. My mister with my simulant keyboard is dope. It's really, really dope. I, I dig it. And like I said, it's, it's a really well-made, it's not like a cheap 
plasticky USB keyboard. The thing is rock solid. So anyway, here is the link. If you want a Simulant keyboard, they're about to sell out. So if you're interested, copy, paste. There's my chat. Paste, there you go. There's a link to the Simulant keyboard. Now, speaking of Jonah and speaking of Amiga Act Magazine, Jonah sent me this cool link. They've got a little promo for the Amiga Addict 30th issue. Now, DJ Hoffman, dude, DJ Hoffman, I cannot wait to read your article. I'm, I'm struggling because I always like, I take a peek at the PDF, but I always wait. I always wait to get the physical copy before I read Amiga Addict. And it takes a while to get here. Like, kind of like Seekanoid. <laughs> um, so anyway, the Amiga Act 30th issue, they've got a video promo. So let's take a look at their video promo. Let's go full screen. And let's see uh, what the, the video promo for Amiga Addict 30th issue is. Oh, 4000 T, baby. Looks like we got some settlers. Roadcraft was in the corner there? I didn't see it, Zendar. I missed it. I missed the Roadcraft re reference, the little badger punch. We gotta play Settlers. You know, one, we gotta play Settlers. It's my buddy Anthony's favorite game. Settlers playing guide, all oh, looks dope. I, I like this a little Amiga Addict promo video. Addict Media Baby. You would love an AGA version of Settlers. That's a good point, Amiga Mark. Good one. Settlers does rule Sir Garbage Truck, totally. All right, so like Amiga Addict 30th, 30th issue. Congrats, dude, that's dude, That's huge, man. Jonah just kicking all kinds of butt. 30th issue of Amiga Addict, Simulant keyboard selling out. Huge congrats to Jonah. Love that guy. There you go, there's the link to the uh, the trailer for the 30th issue, and uh, yeah, dude, it's awesome. <laughs> dude, Hoffman has got this really cool article about doing his hacking and like what, it, what it's like to make a demo. It's, it's, it's so good. Yo, what's up, Amiga Bills, a little midget? Amiga Bills, son, yo, son, we're doing the Amiga news right now. I'll do a little recap, a little recap for you. We got new themes for the Amiga game selector, including a Westchester Amiga user group theme, including a Norwich Amiga user group theme, so cool. Uh, we've got Dune 2, the building of a remaster. Dune 2 is, is uh, getting remastered by Blitter Object, who was on the original dev team, it's so cool. That's huge news for us. We got Skinny Marley. It's a new game. Uh, it's a new game that's coming out uh, in honor of the the programmer's dog who who passed away in a medical mistake, which is just horrible. We got the last call for Simulant keyboards. They're these beautiful keyboards from Simulant Systems. These USB keyboards, and they're about to sell out. So get them while they're still available. And now this is crazy. You know, I also I also love. This, I also love AmigaNews.de, and I was looking for news articles, and I was like, I always check them. They, they got some interesting stuff. But this is this is a wild one. Now you all know Petro Tachenko. <laughs> he is now Petro. You know Petro, like he is like a Mr. Amiga merch. He's the Amiga merch master. Super nice guy. I did a cool little interview with him at Amiga 37. He couldn't have been nicer. He like he was so happy to see the Amiga community thriving that he actually cried during the interview because he's got a good heart, man. He's got a good heart. A very very cool guy. And he's <laughs> I just thought this was wild. He's now the brand representative for Grundig bicycles. Wild, right? From Amiga to Grundig bicycles. <laughs> um, so like other traditional German brands, Grundig is now used by other companies. But for e-bikes, former Commodore Germany manager and Amiga Technologies managing director, Petro Chichenko is now promoting them as a brand representative. That's pretty rad. I want to see Petro with his helmet on, on the e-bike, cruising down the street in Germany. I, I need to see it. I need to see it. So I just thought that was kind of funny, uh, interesting. So Petro, good luck, good luck to you in your, uh, your new endeavor as the brand representative for Grundig Bicycles. That's pretty rad. Go Petro, go. I want to see, I want to see Petro cruising, cruising it down the road. Here's a, a link to the AmigaNews.de article about Petro, and you can read more about Grundig Bicycles.
Uh, let's see. We also. Oh, okay. So you all know Rob Smith and his floating bowling ball. Let's see if my iPhone is working. Is my iPhone working? Oh, the, dude, the iPhone comes correct, baby. We talked about this on stream. Rob like gave me like late breaking Amiga news, and I can't remember if this is exactly what he sent me or not. It's been, I can't. Remember, but you know, Rob Smith, creator of the floating bowling ball. There it is, baby. There it is. I, you know, the Amiga Saloon is looking good. It's looking good. It's going to be getting an upgrade soon. Look, the Amiga Saloon's looking good. There's the Tasmanian Devil in honor of Amiga Kami. So, Rob Smith, check it out. Rob Smith is, is, a, is a crazy, mad genius. And he's got this really cool thing that lets you use floppy disks with WinUAE and a, and, a, and a real floppy drive. It's super, super rad. The Rob Smith Disk Flashback. Oh, Amiga Game Selector, you were playing the digital version of Seekanoid at the Kickstart group meeting yesterday. I was pretty terrible at it. Oh, Amiga Game Selector, you need, the, the real key to it is you need an actual dual stick joystick or plug in two joysticks of the same. You've got to go dual stick. You've got to go, it's designed for the dual stick. Yo, but Amiga Game Selector, I want this to tell you how much I appreciate this. Like, all of us are psyched. We got a lot of folks from Westchester Amiga User Group in the stream right now, and we are pumped. Eric, you already going to bed early. Two weeks for your summer vacation to start. Eric, Eric, thanks for hanging out and thanks for keeping it hot in the hot tub. You rule, brother. I love you, man. Yeah, dude. They're Hoover, Hoover Phonique. They're doing. They're doing e-bikes. They're doing e-bikes now. Who knew? So, check this out. This is a Windows package to use floppy disk images and files and non-PC real floppy disks in Windows directly. So you literally, what you can do is you can actually pop in like a real Amiga floppy disk and use them directly in Windows. I want to be able to access floppy disks from my Amiga and other formats without having to boot an emulator. I want to be able to open a disk image like an ADF in Windows in the easiest way possible, no emulators, as well as being able to use a real floppy drive and to see what was on it. So I decided to build this, which allows you to view and edit the contents of real floppy disks and disk images directly from Windows Explorer. And yes, you can even read non-PC floppy disks in real time too. You need the proper floppy drive, but it works like a charm. Yeah, dude, Greg of Florida, right in Windows. It's so, it's so awesome. I've been planning to build this since 2017, and now with a simple double click, I can access the contents of these disk image files. Mount, ADF, Disk Master, IMG, IMA, ST, MSA, HDA, HDF, and SCP files as virtual drives right in Windows. And you can actually, if you've got the right floppy drive, you can plug it right into your PC and open up right in Windows. DJ Hoffman, you've been using this on stream for a while. Really handy to pull files on and off real floppy disk. I, Hoff, I've got the floppy drive too, so I need to do this. I can't freaking wait to do this. No emulation, Fishbot. It's, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Yes, it, yep, Cephalon Amiga, it will work with your original Amiga disk. Yes, that's the idea. That you could pop in your original Amiga disk and it opens up in Windows. How cool is that? So yeah, disk flashback is open source and available under the GLP2 license and available from GitHub. That is freaking rad. It's Trap Shot, you've wanted it for years. It's so dope, right, Tony Rocks? So anyway, Rob Smith is the man. I freaking, I freaking love that guy. Rob Smith is incredible. I'm gonna copy and paste this into the chat for you all. So you all can go download that as well and open uh, up your real Amiga floppies. Where'd that go? Here we are. On your windows. How cool is that? Dude, how amazing is the Amiga community? I mean, come on. Vector Funk, Rob is the man. He's the man, he amazes me. You know, him and uh, that Rob Cranley, two Robs. The tail, Rob Smith and Rob Cranley, the tale of two Robs. Those guys are crazy mad geniuses. So is Hoffman. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rob just released a new video this morning on building a disc cleaning robot. I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't, Rob uh, Voxel, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. That's crazy. All right, next news article. Okay, so these are just two quick ones because at, at the beginning of the week, like when I start to like, I check the interwebs for all the Amiga news throughout the week. And if we start to get to like Wednesday or Thursday and I don't have any like meat, I don't have a good juicy meat, I start to get a little nervous. <laughs> you feel robbed, that's hilarious, Bersada. 
I start to feel a little nervous. Anyway, so these are just, this is like light Amiga news, but it's, it's good stuff. Uh, there's a new version of AmiBerry. You know, AmiBerry is the emulator like engine behind so many of the Amiga emulators on the Raspberry Pi. And the big upgrade here uh, is that Yeah, it's got the new resolution auto switch. It's got a resolution auto switch feature, and I think it improves the scaling as well. So, a uh, new version of, of AmiBerry has been released. I, I don't know if, if any of you guys run AmiBerry RAW. Or do you use like your Amibian, your Pi Amiga, your Ami Kit X. But there's a new version of, of uh, AmiBerry, and it's super cool that they're still making Ami, uh, AmiBerry better. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's using the Workbench Distribution AMI kit for the Raspberry Pi, which we're going to see in a little while. Joe Hammer, what's up, Joe Hammer? Great to see you. So here's the link. Copy. Paste. Boom. This, yeah, so yeah, AMI kit. AMI kit uses uh, AMI Berry as it's like the backbone of his engine. We're going to look at AMI kit in a little while, I hope. <laughs> I've had some I've had some problems getting it going. Yeah, probably Alex Bell. Amiga News ID is amazing. It's totally amazing. Uh, and this is cool too. I, this I want to try. There's an image and PDF converter. It's called Image to PDF. It's been updated, but I never, I never even thought about it before. So you can convert an image to a PDF file and a PDF file to an image using your real Amiga, which is super, super cool. Amiga Mark, the Amiga Trumps. Oh no, Amiga Mark, I think I missed it. Oh, Amiga Mark, no. Do you, do you have a link? Is it still possible to back it? I'm such an idiot because I do like I do the Amiga News and then like sometimes I'll play the game, like the Lemon Amiga game, and we'll play the game and I'll get a score and then I just won't get over the finish line. Like I won't upload my score. It happened to me with the in the last round. And then like with the Amiga Trumps, I was like, I did it all on the stream, and then as soon as the stream is over, like I just like pass out and I don't think I backed it. Amiga Mark. That's because I, I want that game really, really bad. Maybe I'll just donate to him, and you know that'd be cool. Thank you, Amiga Mark. Thank you for dropping that link. Because I want that that Trump Scar game. That looks really, really cool. So anyway, Image to PDF is uh, has been updated, and it looks really, really cool. So there's some sw small cosmetic features. It improved the tooltips. Expanded the scaling range of function. Now 10 to 6,000. And there's an abort function. Very, very cool. Drop that linky link in the chat for you all. I, I need to go download that. It's over on Aminet. Here is the link. Paste. Now this this was really, really cool. This is the last piece of Amiga News for the week of June 23rd. There was, yo, Hoff, are you listening, Hoff? There was a demo party in the USA. Very, very rare. Very, very rare to have a demo party in the USA. There's only like a handful of them that I can think of. This is called the At Party. It, it uh, happened in Boston. Boston is kind of like the Silicon Valley of the East. So that's pretty cool. We got, you know, MIT up there. So it makes sense. It makes sense that it's kind of the Silicon Valley of the East. But uh, yeah, and there was a cool Amiga demo that was released. It won first place in the old school demo compo. It's called Last Minute Man by Cosmic Orbs. And I think we need to watch it. it it's wild. I do apologize in advance because <laughs> The song is going to get stuck in your head. Oh, Sir Garbershock says, it's been going for several years. We know Dr. Claw, the main organizer. That's, dude, I, I, that's awesome, uh, Sir Garbershock. I need to get up there because Boston is only like three and a half hours from where I live in New York. Um, let's just, let's read a little about it. At Party is a program of the nonprofit organization Artisans Asylum Inc. We aim to promote the development of the demo scene in North America within the context of art, educational, and technological communities that share our goals. Foster cross pollination in the New England art and technology community and encourage collaboration between the current and future demo scenes around the world. We're about providing an environment in which folks can meet, learn from each other, and collaborate on cool, expressive projects involving technology, particularly computers. That is freaking awesome! That is freaking awesome. You were in Boston and Cambridge a few times for work. The nice never break. It's a great vibe. Sir Garbage Truck, that is, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, see, there's lots of schools up there. MIT, UMass, Worcester Polytech. There's the Lincoln Laboratory. So this is super, super cool. At party. And here is uh, Cosmic Orbs. I'm sorry, it's Last Minute Man by Cosmic Orbs. If I go here, we can see some of the entries. 
There's the entry for Cosmic Orbs. And here's At Party. Boom. At Party 2024. Last Minute Man on the. I love that someone did an Amiga demo. How cool is that? Hossbag says almost July. No info or pre orders for the Amiga Maxi. Hossbag, that's an interesting one. Depesh Spreadpoint says that Cosmic Orb sample stuck in my. Depesh, dude, I'm telling you. I'm apologizing to everyone in advance. Let's, let's play it. Let's play it. I'm apologizing, apologizing to everyone in advance. Uh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> this is going to. Um, Get stuck in your head. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna get stuck in your head. I do need to get the Carnegie Mellon for Demo Splash. My uh, my buddy Inverse Phase is one of the organizers of that. Demo Splash is cool. And then I'm trying to remember the name of the other the other party. Uh, it happens on a train. I don't know if they still do it, but there's a train that leaves from New York and ends up in Montreal, Canada. That one is really really cool too. What's, yo, Chris, what link did I throw? Synchrony. Thank you, Sir Garbage Truck. That's the one I was trying to think of. All right, let's go here, and no worries. See, I have to redo this. Boom. Okay, Logitech. Boom. We're gonna go to my mage, my mage well. Yep, mage well. Cool. We're gonna go to settings. Cool. Uh huh. And I'm just don't. I'm just gonna do this. Boom. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna. It's gonna be all right. There we go. I have to reset all my USBs. Boot with no startup sequence. Oh, I have to. You know what I have to do for this? I have to go to my boot options, and I need to disable my CPU caches. Yep, and boot with no startup sequence. Boom. Are all the Kickstarter tickets sold out now? It's a good question, son. I'm not sure. Oh, you want a link to the demo? Yeah, dude, here we go, Chris. We're going to... Here's a link to the at party and uh, links for the demo as well. Copy. <laughs> Paste. It's, it's, I'm warning you guys in advance. I'm warning you tonight. Tonight when you are, you know... You go to bed, maybe you wake up. Maybe if you're old like me, you gotta pee in the middle of the night. When you wake up, you're gonna be you're gonna be saying cosmic orbs, cosmic. You'll see, you'll see. DH1. Today is June 23rd, 2024, and I'm not set patching. Don't want to don't want to do that. We're gonna go to last minute man cosmic orbs. L A S T M I N U T E M A N dash C O S M I C O R B S. Boom. Okay, let's do this. Boom. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn up the cosmic orbs. Cosmic orbs. Go. I love that image, it's beautiful. Yeah, it was fast. It, it's beautiful. This is another good one coming up too, Sir Garbage Truck. That was the one. I like I love the image too. Very, very cool stuff.
there we go. That was Cosmic. That was a Last Minute Man by Cosmic Orbs. Very, very cool stuff, right? Very cool. At Party Boston, USA representing. It makes me very, very happy. And there you have it, folks. The Amiga News for the week of June 23rd, 2024. After a rough start, we settled in and we got through it. Thank you all so much for hanging with me. Devil Inside, you rule. Polly Alex Bo has got 100 copies of the new album. Dude, Polly, I cannot wait to get your new album. 100 copies ready to sell a Kickstart. It sounds like tickets for Saturday are sold out, but tickets for Sunday are still available. It's two days, right? Uh, Fishbot, you're psyched for Dune too. Was that your, your favorite news of the week? Yeah. Yup. Thanks, D Mackie. Thanks for sticking with me, everyone. I've, I, I should have tested that USB hub before the stream, but I didn't. All right, I'm rebooting here, and uh, we should play a game. So we're, we'll do is I want to play uh, the doggy game. I also have a really interesting game. I might need to use my Amiga 500 for it. <laughs> it's um, it's a game in the Lemon Amiga English Amiga board competition, and it's kind of like Pac-Man me.